The patient is now scrubbing up before he inserts the needles. Since he no longer has an external shunt, there are no problems about getting his forearm wet. The technique of needle insertion is standardized using commercially available fistula needles, syringes containing local anesthetic and a loading dose of heparin, a tourniquet and a vacuum container of saline. The patient cleans the arm with spirit and then selects his favorite site which varies from month to month. You can see already the snail's track of healed puncture sites up his cephalic vein. Experience since 1967 suggests that scar tissue formation and obliteration of the venous channel do not occur. He now takes a syringe of local anesthetic and introduces a small quantity subcutaneously or intradermally. His brother now applies a tourniquet above the elbow. The patient takes the main fistula needle and inserts it into the vein. The heparin loading dose is administered from a large syringe after the tourniquet has been released. There should be a free flow of blood backwards and forwards and no swelling around the puncture site. The patient's brother now comes round and stands behind him. He steadies the skin of the forearm with a finger. The second needle is always inserted below the first one, either pointing towards the fistula or up the arm. A clamp has been deliberately left off the needle so that a free flow of blood will be visually demonstrated. The dialyzer is now joined to the automatic dialysate supply unit. The patient and his brother make the connection between the outflow blood tubing and the fistula needles. The patient controls the blood pump with the switch at his right hand and we see the blood flowing down the tubing, over his foot, and towards the pump itself. 